This is Diane Mahinda, Business Marketing and Computer Education Facilitator for the Curriculum Revitalization Initiative from the Illinois Office of Educational Services in Springfield, Illinois. The Illinois Office of Educational Services is an office of Southern Illinois University. The CRI project is in partnership with the Illinois State Board of Education. This webcast is in a series of many webcasts to bring information about Excel 2007 to the beginning spreadsheet user. Today's session will be a brief look at the 2007 Excel worksheet. Uh, the following sessions will be about the individual ribbons and ribbons of commands that are on the 2007 series of Microsoft Office Excel. Okay, let's get started. Uh, when you open up a, an Excel worksheet, this is what you will see. Uh, you will have a page that looks like this with a, a number of grids. I have put in here my contact information, but right now I'm going to get rid of it. And all you need to do is select the cells that has that information in it, and it, it looks like that the information goes across cells here, but if I click into a cell and select that cell and look up in the formula toolbar or the formula bar here, you see nothing. So that is a clue to the beginning user that there is nothing in that cell, even though it looks, it appears to have something in that uh, over here. If I click here, you can see that my name and title goes across the uh, spectrum. If I go up to this um, area in the columns, the area between the columns, you'll notice that you get a double-headed arrow. And that means I can click and drag the cell to uh, make it longer, or I can double-click it and it will uh, expand to the longest line uh, in that column. So you can see that it all came uh, as a result of being in column A. Okay, I can go back up here and just drag it. I can click and select those cells. I can click and drag several cells at one time. And then just press the delete key on your keyboard. And there the information is gone. Okay, so this is what it looks like to have a worksheet. And as you can see down below here, you've got sheet one, two, and three. You can have more, you can have four, you can have as many as you want to, and you can rename those to something that makes sense to uh, what your project is. A spreadsheet is sometimes known as a what-if worksheet because you can put uh, calculations in here that, uh, that can either sum, average, you can do count, you can do many, many mathematical functions and you can change numbers without having to recalculate and the uh, program will do that for you and in future uh, many segments I will show you how to do that first of all uh, I do want you to take a look at the top portion of the Excel worksheet you'll notice that there are tabs you've got the home tab insert page layout formulas data review view add-ins and Acrobat and each one of those and I'll go back to home each one of them have uh, what we call tiles of command buttons tiles of command buttons uh, this one is clipboard this one is font you can see at the bottom of each tile it gives the name of that and this one is alignment number that one is styles cells and editing uh, in in uh, future webcasts, I'm going to take each ribbon and talk about uh, what kind of effect those commands have on uh, information that is put down here in the worksheet. And up here, uh, you've got the Office button. This is uh, the same button that is in all of the Microsoft Office 2007 suites. And when you click on that, you can see that you can get a new document, you can open a saved document, you can save, you can save as, and when you take a look at save as, you can see that if you are trying to work with older versions of Excel and 
uh, you uh, are working with a partner who does not have 2007, you will need to save that uh, worksheet in this compatibility mode right here. That will allow you to save and retrieve the worksheet in an older version of Microsoft Excel. Okay, You can see that there are other things that you can uh, save. Print. Print is here and you can also notice that Print Preview is here. A print Preview is something that you definitely want to use before you print any worksheet because it's kind of misleading. Sometimes you know you keep going across columns with information and uh, what happens is it breaks it up into pages that are not very workable. So uh, if you print preview it prior to printing you can change the orientation which is landscape uh, or you can maybe uh, squeeze columns together so that you can get what you want on one page. And then here are some of the other options under the Office button. Now the neat thing about this is that when you go across here, this is called the Customized Quick Access Toolbar. And there are some default tools on there, but you can add others if you want to. And all you have to do is click this down arrow. And you can see that I have put Save Quick Print the print preview. I like the print preview up there. I don't want to have to go on the office button and down to the print option and then over to print preview. I want that on that customized quick access. But you can you can put any number of things up there. If you wanted to get a new document, open it, you can put that up there as, to, as well. All you have to do is click it and there it is right there. Okay, this is a, just a very quick little mini overview of what the Excel 2007 worksheet looks like. And that is all for this session. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.